Hey folks, this is Iratron. Hope you're doing great. Thank you very much for joining us tonight as we are showing off our Dell Venue 8 Pro running Windows 10. Guys, this is the uh, RTM or the official release that came out yesterday for uh, desktops and for laptops and all that good stuff. Anyways, um, I was able to get it to install without any issues, without any pain whatsoever to this tablet. And I have to say that it's running incredibly well. I think you can tell from what you're seeing right there that it's, it's very smooth. Uh, it runs exactly like you imagined that it would. And uh, guys, we're gonna cover a few features and that kind of thing. And then we are going to show you how you too can install it to your tablet. Now, I can confirm that this works for the Dell Venue 8 Pro and there's no issues with drivers or anything like that. Uh, I bet a million dollars that it would work out fine for your tablet too, if it's not of the, uh, the Dell Venue 8 variety, maybe like the uh, Toshiba models. Yeah, Lenovo and that kind of thing. Anyways, um, we're gonna show off just a few things here. Um, you know, for instance, just uh, how smooth it really is. Uh, you see how the transition effects are, everything is there. It's, man, it just works so well. Anyways, I'm looking at this through my camera, so of course it's, it's kind of difficult. Uh, you have your notification window and everything. You can change into uh, tablet mode. And it's funny, it's like I'm not used to uh, tablet mode, so when I first tried it out, boy, it really threw me off. I was like, oh man, what happened to you know the uh, windows and everything? Just, wow, it's not behaving like I thought it would. Anyways, um, once I installed the drivers for the video card, it defaulted to tablet mode, but that's okay. Um, I happen to be a fan of turning that off myself. Yeah, I like the full desktop uh, effect, or uh, experience anyways. Anyways, uh, everything is working fine out of the box. Like I mentioned, the, I had to install the uh, graphics card. That was uh, the drivers for it, the Intel uh, dri drivers. Um, it's funny, once I had finished installing Windows 10, um, I noticed that the system was incredibly slow, and I knew that there was definitely a problem with the uh, the graphics driver. Anyways, uh, what I did to get it to work is I simply went down to Windows and Settings, and then navigated over to Updates and Security, and Windows Update, clicked on Check for Updates, and it automatically detected that the uh, driver was available for download. It had downloaded it, it uh, finally installed, and I rebooted the system, and it re rebooted up just just beautifully everything works great including uh, Cortana and everything uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot I, moments ago they were Microsoft was experiencing issues with their uh, service so it wouldn't respond but let's give it a shot now hey Cortana what time is it it's 9.09 p.m. in Boone it's 9.09 p.m. in Boone <laughs> yeah you notice that delay it's funny because it picked up on my desktop computer which is running behind me Anyways, uh, yeah, Cortana works fine. It, uh, everything works exactly as it should, and I couldn't be more pleased with it. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the store. Um, what an improvement this is over the uh, Windows 8 store. I mean, what a piece of crap that was, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, everything is just so smooth and responsive. Um, yet, I have yet to experience any lag or anything like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and load up the uh, Edge browser. Yeah, it wasn't, this was not delaying, folks, uh, when I was attempting to launch it. I just, I'm looking through uh, my camera screen, and I have this little metal lip here. I don't know if you can see it from the uh, this tablet stand, but whatever, you know. Yeah, you see how smooth that is? We'll go ahead and click on it. And, hi, puppy dog. That's Miss Ruby. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, but you can witness firsthand just how great it is. Thanks a lot, babe. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, super duper smooth. It works great. Anyways, um, I think you're really going to enjoy it. So, if you guys want to install uh, Windows 10 to your tablet, you know what to do. Um, kick back and relax and watch the uh, the last part of this video. Uh, we'll provide you with instructions and all that good stuff. And Anyways, guys, this is my puppy dog, Miss Ruby. She's uh, definitely my helper when it comes to installing uh, things like this. Anyways, here we go. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Windows 10 to your Dell Venue 8 Pro. So let's go ahead and get this working. What we need to do is head over to uh, Redmond Pi. I'll actually include a link in the description to help you guys out. But we're looking for an article that I stumbled upon yesterday. It's uh, not provided to us, like I said earlier in the video, by our friends from Dell. But I assure you that this works like a, an absolute charm. 
Anyways, um, what we are looking for is this article right here titled Download Windows Pro 10 ISO without product key from Microsoft. So once here, you're going to scroll down to where it says uh, if all those criteria are met, then Microsoft has put an official Windows 10 disk image ISO download page here. So once you uh, click on that, you'll be presented with uh, two options once you scroll down. One for the download tool for the 32-bit version and the other for the 64-bit version. Now, we'll have to download uh, the 32-bit tool. And uh, really, that's all there is to it. You'll do this on your Dell tablet. And uh, once it installs, it's really lightweight, it has a lightweight footprint. I think it's just only like a megabyte or two. But once it's installed on your computer, you ha you'll hit run and um, it is going to download Windows 10 to your tablet. Now here's the deal, you're gonna have to make certain that you have plenty of storage space on your tablet, otherwise the install will fail. So what I did with mine, is you know, mine's the 32 gigabyte model and I only had a few gigs remaining. I have yet to add a, like an external uh, storage device or even like a micro SD to this thing. And so I think at most I had about six gigabytes remaining. Well, that wasn't enough. I think it needs to have uh, about nine or 10. Anyways, um, what I did is I went ahead and I reformatted my uh, tablet so that uh, it's completely restored. And once it had booted up and everything, and I did just the bare minimum to get it set up again, I had about 13 gigabytes of uh, free storage space. Well, I downloaded the tool, installed it, I ran it, and then I downloaded Windows 10. And basically, I just allowed the tool to do its own thing. I allowed it to select which apps to port over and all that good stuff, and uh, it worked beautifully. It probably, the entire process took about 30 minutes for it to install. The, uh, the system did reboot a few times as, as it was doing so, and I had it plugged into the charger the entire time, which I believe is one of the requirements. Anyways, um, once it had finished installing, I was presented basically with this screen here, uh, because, um, <clears throat> Yeah, I was presented with this screen here basically, but it was running very slow. So what I had to do is go under uh, settings, update and security, Windows update, and clicked on that there, and it actually detected that I needed to install the, uh, the video driver. So once that was done, I went ahead and I rebooted the system, and bam, it loaded up just like this, working beautifully. And um, since I had signed in using my account that I've used here, it poured it over my wallpaper, um, all of my settings and all that good stuff. It was very, very smooth. Anyways, there's nothing to installing Windows 10 to your Dell tablet. You don't have to worry about installing a bullet of drivers and all that good stuff like we had to uh, worry about with the uh, the pre-release and the uh, the Insider previews. Okay, that was kind of a pain and it was you know, an issue installing the drivers for the uh, touch screen panel and all that good stuff. Well, you don't have to worry about it. This works beautifully, so password, tell everyone you know that you can go ahead and uh, install an update and you'll be uh, having a good time in uh, and, uh, just a matter of uh, minutes, really. Anyways, if you have any questions, post down below. I would be happy to uh, help you out, and um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if that's your thing. If you like the uh, social media aspect, you can head over to our Facebook page. You can uh, follow us on Twitter, and hope you guys have a wonderful night. We'll talk to you soon. Hoorah! Rock like this, rock like that. Go ahead and get your grown man on. Drop it like this, drop it like that. Go ahead and get your grown woman on. Give me a bag of good and a bunch of drinks. Cause everyone too tough to be rocking like this. So come on, shake the load off your Come on, shake loose your stress. I got a fit for yet and I can't miss my chance. Cause shorty looking too good with the way she dance. So come on, shake the load off your Come on, shake loose your stress.